back to Sound Like on Anderson's TV. Today, me and Madame Cece here are attempting to sound like metal gods, Metallica. Queenie is going to be trying to be Mr. Cliff Burton. She has the hair for it. I do. And the fingers for it. And I'm going to try and be Mr. James Hetfield because I've already done Kirk. And I'll just want to be a ribbon beast for a minute. I'm not going to be able to play James, but I'm going to try. Anyway, onwards. Down pick, 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 down pick. Guitars. Okay, James, Flying V, Explorers, Les Pauls. Can't find any Vs. Oh no, this will do perfectly. Is it in Anybody budget? get the joke? It's Dave Mustaine. <laughs> anyway, no, that's out of budget. We can't use that. But uh, it's a V. But there is no. I can't find any kind of like budget Vs. Thinking Les Paul. Um, I just don't know what Les Paul. I need. I've seen some of humbuckers more than anything. So, we've got Epiphones. Standards, standards, standards. No, not, not juniors. Ooh. That's an option. Classic. Mm. Ooh, I like the finish. Okay, so we got a Les Paul classic Epiphone here. Oh, it's got the amazing Nile thing. 399. So that is in budget. So that's an option. Because the thing is, I'm not going to have loads of pedals for James, so I can kind of like go a bit more mental on the guitar. So, hmm, but I'm still, what would James Hetfield do apart from go, yeah? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's an option. I don't know if there's any others around. Let's have a scout look. around. Sire, but I don't, the, the stratty kind of things. So there's Paul, 579. It's like black. There's Paul. We just need to get an iron cross and a gold say. stripe. That's an option as well. We haven't looked at ESPs, or for LTDs, the cheaper version of ESPs. The ESP is going to be well out of the question, but let's look. There you go. Perfect guitar yeah. for James Hetfield. Ooh. Playing all those guitar, all those songs, uh, Master of Puppets. Just you know, screams, oh yeah. It does. Nothing else matters. Anyway, move on. There's another one. Wow, that's uh, purple. And we have a push pull. Um, so what's this? 449, what was the Epiphone? Uh, five... Ooh, so no, this is no. Was, was it? it? I don't know. Five 300s, I think. Five 300s. 399. 399. So this is a That's little it. bit more, but it is an LTD. James is an ESP LTD guy. I think we'll oh. go this. It's skinny as well, look. look. Not have to worry about, like, you know, being... Oh, he's got a belly cut as well. Ooh. Yeah. Sorted. How do we do? Aria black and gold on a budget. Let's see. <laughs> now, I've instantly spotted a potential one. So how much is this? Yeah, I'm in a sound gear. So 279, that is budget. easily in budget. Just learn left-handed. Yeah. You have a black one, actually. There you go. Oh, they want an Ibanez. It does kind of resemble the... Uh, oh, East Coast, even. The Aria. Yeah, so that's an option. Yes. Um, it's possibly the option. <laughs> 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 What about, Jazz bass is out of the question. What about that um, M2? My, I mean, there's tons that, of Yeah, how much is that? It looks expensive. 319. Oh, it's not too bad. I didn't even see it. It's got a whoa, wow. skinny neck! Whoa, good spot. That is, yeah, but feel the neck at the top end. That, I mean, that's, that's like... That's like jazz bass too. And 24 frets. Ah. But what the hell do all these things do? D I don't know what they do. <laughs> but that's an option. That is what definitely about? an option. I might take both of them. Yeah. And as usual, see how we get on because, yeah, they seem like the best two options. I can't see anything else at the moment that I think will do the job. So I'm going to take these two. So this is 319 and this one is 279. So there's a lot of white bases in here lately. It's all good. What's wrong with white? Nothing. My favourite colour on any instrument. I know. So hopefully one of these will be bass sorted. So we'll see how we get on. Bass amp time. Cliff used so many different things from PV to Mesa Boogie, Sun Concert. So, kind of name your brand. Um, I'm hoping. Volvic. Yeah, the Volvic amp. It's a really <laughs> rumbly sound. It's good for um, your health, though. Yeah, it's very refreshing. So, what are you doing? So, I'm thinking Fender Rumble yeah. because uh, Volvic. It's got in my head now. Yep. Yeah, Fender Rumble, Rumble because again, 
I want something with a really solid foundation. Cliff has a really thunderous bass tone and hopefully this should do the job along with the pedals. So we'll see how we get on. Um, I don't think the Ampeg is quite Cliff, although at one point he used Ampeg, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to have the kind of power. There's orange. But... Um, to be honest, no, a lot of the sound is going to be coming from the pedals, so it's not a major yes. issue what I use. So I'm thinking the rumble is probably the best option, going to be the best yeah. foundation. Possible. Yeah, don't want to go Katana. I mean, that's 549. Yeah. Wow, well, that, that's 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 that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 549. Oh. So po possibly not. <laughs> it's a gritty yeah. teeth price, aren't we'll, it? We'll try the Fender. Esther and Ramson see how we get on. It, it may, yeah. It may or may not work but we'll see because a lot of the sound will be coming from the pedals anyway so in theory it shouldn't matter too much so yeah fender rumble 255 what's the difference between the two uh, well do you want to take both and that's just, oh, so yeah. just going for that one yeah yes yeah, because so, i won't be using it's them. got a drive channel as well so you might yeah. have to get away with using the drive in that yeah. and then i might be able to cut some things. pedals out so yeah, yeah we'll go with that one cool so is that your amps or yep okay right, now guitar amp yeah two amps so james Initially used Matt Marshall. There was a, apparently a modded SLP that got stolen and he used a 2205 Master Volume Marshall for second album. And then it's basically Mesa Boogie from then on Mark II's. Can't afford a Mesa Boogie and I don't think there was any. Um, and also for his cleans, he uses the Roland J Jazz Chorus. So he uses two amps. I can only pick one. So Got I'm thinking, one? well, I'm thinking something Fendery. Like fender, fender for clean and using a pedal to get the distortion. Although James said he wanted to use amps because he didn't like things sound like a pedal. Sorry, James. Um, well, James isn't on a budget. No, that's true. He's very not on a budget. Anyway, <laughs> um, there's the Mustang. But I think I'm going to go with Old Faithful. I'm going to go with Champion 50XR. I'm going to use, because I used that for Dave Murray as well. And it took like high gain really well. So I think I'm going to get this. And then a pedal. And I also need a chorus pedal as well. It does have chorus in it though. I'm gonna we'll get, get an angel wing chorus as well. Yeah, but get I'm gonna one try the chorus in the amp and see what that's like. But again, I can't channel I can't switch off and on. Mm. So I'm gonna get that as my amp. I need a distortion pedal now, something that's really high gain. I think for a giggle, I'm gonna get one of those Behringer metal pedals. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. It might. Dave's thinking, Dave's thinking. It's always a dangerous point when Dave's oh, not no, thinking. Oh no, he's thinking. Oh god. Um, might go for the wild throw, maybe. James did use an amp distorted and then a tube screamer, a TS9, to kind of like tighten up, but then a tube screamer went away eventually. But I'm going to grab one of these. I think I might grab which one? Heavy metal or ultra metal? Now that is the question. I mean, which one's more James Hetfield? Which ultra one? Ultra metal. On, on the year factor, how many years ultra metal do you reckon has? I reckon, I reckon that's a good solid five years. I, I think so. But out, out of five. What? Yeah. Uh, and then heavy metal, I think it's about a four years out of five. I'm going to get both and see which one works, but I don't think I'm going to be using them. And I'm going to probably go for. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to go for a while for I'm going to pick those three and see which one does James the best. And that's it. Is that done. all the pedals you need? That is all the pedals I need, because wow. I need to try and go for that really heavy, scooped mids, but extremely percussive guitar tone, and work on my down pick chops. Down pick, down pick. Down pick, down pick, down pick. So, uh, bass pedal fun time then. This is going to be yes. something. Let's see what we can find. Now. So, I know Cliff <laughs> used a Boss compressor sustainer, and I'm pretty sure I spotted one in here somewhere. Yeah, that one at the back. I don't know how much that is but I wish I could find out. I'll grab it. Well, we'll, we'll say that. Yeah, we'll find out how much it is. I'll grab it and I may or may not end up using it. So that's an option. And then I need some kind of tube screamery overdrive because he used the TS9. So there is I think the TS9. There is. And I think I'm going to go TS9 and then get a more budget one and see which one does the job better, see how cheaply I can do it. So, TS9 is over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So, I'm gonna get the TS9 and then Tone City Green Tube. Yeah. That could do the job, so, so yep. A shootout between tube screamers. Yes, exactly. It's on. <laughs>
So yeah. what have you got so far? So I have compressor sustainer and mm -hmm. overdrive. So And there's also overdrive in the amp as well, isn't there? Just in there case is so some that's may three or may options not need. there. Yeah. And back in my day, you plugged straight into amp and didn't have enough pedals. <laughs> didn't give you a tuner. So, first time. <laughs> um, again, uh, Cliff used the Big Moth, and I think I'm going to go with the Matcha Cream because I know that that is a really great budget option for that. So, that should do the job. And then, most famously for Cliff is his Morley Wars. We know oh, yes. he loved them. So, Ooh. I don't know if we're going to find didn't see anything that, yeah. exactly like that. There is a Morley there. So. Morley distortion, so we have a fourth distortion option. Somehow, can I don't think. Can you turn it off? <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah. You can use it with or without the distortion, so. That's all right then. I won't necessarily need to use the distortion, but I think the Morley is probably the best option because none of these will necessarily do the job. Although, <laughs> I'm debating whether to, as a slightly cheaper option, get the Vox because I don't know how much this is. But I think I'm going to go with the Morley and take a bit of a risk and uh, yeah. see how we get on. Because well, you can get both, get the Morley and the Vox and see which one yeah. does see which one does better, really. Well, it's definitely It's always good option. to have options. It is, it is, options. And also, speaking of options, I've just been very kindly informed there is the mini rat pedal, which I'm mm. going to go for distortion as well. So that will probably do yeah, I'm pretty sure James used a rat as well. Yeah, he did uh, at one point. Yeah, I think the early, I think the first album is a rat pedal. So we're going to get that combined with a 50, uh, Fender 50XL. Job's good. Cool. To the video room? Go, yep. back in the video room just a quick note before we start if you enjoy this video please like and subscribe so cliff burton what a big challenge but hopefully succeeded that was ridiculous fun so <laughs> so base wise i went with the ibanez sr300e over the marcus miller m2 just because i felt it gave a bit more of the growly cliff burton sound and had a bit more of the definition on the high end um one quick note to mention about this bass is there is a rather big ding out of it, but Andertons do stock new ones as well. So That's characters. It, yeah. it does. I quite like it. Cliff Plus would my, be happy. He would. Plus my arm covers it, so uh, just pretend it's not there. But yeah, pedal wise, I went with the Matcha Cream over the Big Muff because it just does the exact same thing for the same price. Uh, so it was for a much cheaper price, so it was kind of a no brainer. And I've got that going into the Morley Fuzzwar. I managed to find a Fuzzwar over the Distortion Wah. Um, and I was kind of hoping that the Fuzz on this Wah would do the job and I could take out the Matcha Cream. But actually the Matcha Cream does weirdly a better sounding job than the Fuzz for Cliff Burton. So I went with that. Technically, you could potentially use a different Wah into a Fuzz, but I just found that this one, the sweep on it just Felt really Cliff burton -y. so I went with that one. Um, and then I've got the Green Tube by Tone City, which I went for over the Ibanez TS9, because again, it does the exact same thing for way, way cheaper. So again, just made sense to go with that. And then amp-wise, I went for the Fender Rumble 40, and it did an amazing job. So that's pretty much Cliff. Um, 
as for what I have on, I've got the green tube on most of the time. It's very rare that he did clean stuff, so... Show yeah. us a demo of your basic clean and go through your, yeah, go so, through your pedals. So that's just basic clean uh, and then adding in the green tube. And then obviously you've got the wah as well. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I want one. But yeah, that's uh, pretty yeah, much it, and I've do, killed Dave. Could, could you just do that again? Yeah. <laughs> What's your amp settings? Uh, yes, amp settings. So I have bass all the way on. Um, Low mids at three o'clock, high mids at about two o'clock, and treble totally off. Yes. And that's pretty much it. Uh, everything's middled on the bass as well. So there we go. That is Cliff. Okay, so James Hetfield um, found this hard. Uh, the thing is, though, it's like the thing about James's tone is it, it sits in a specific place, so the bass it doesn't kind of cloud the bass, which is kind of strange considering you can't really hear the bass on Metallica's albums. But but it does. It sits like the, the bass is really heavy and dark and like loads of mid range, no yeah. treble. Whereas the guitars are super scooped, as everyone knows from like you know the, the early records, like there's just no mid range to them whatsoever. But what I struggle to get, in my opinion, is that kind of percussive thing that James has got. I mean, I, I can't play like James. The man's like a, some kind of weird robot machine. I swear his right hand isn't human. <laughs> but um, it's really hard to get that sound. But uh, eventually, I settled on the ultra metal pedal by Beringer, Beringer, Beringer. Beringer. I mean, want to say it. Beringa. Sounds like some kind of weird place. Wood. Wood. Beringa. <laughs> yes, this guitar's made out of Beringa wood. Um, it's extremely cheap. Anyway, move along. So, um, Ultra Metal. I went for that pedal. It was, it was, it's the, out of all the pedals I tried, I think I tried about six different pedals for this sound. It was the only one that sat well with the Champion 50XL amp I'm using. The amp, the amp itself is really good, but it was just struggling to kind of like articulate with the other pedals. And this is the only one that actually got close to that percussive, scoopy, but kind of almost mid-rangey kind of sound, the, the high mids that James has got, or low mids, should I say. Uh, I've actually got it set. I'm on the clean channel. I've got volume set at about, well, just over nine o'clock. Treble is at about just between one and two o'clock. Bass is at nine o'clock. I've got a tiny bit of reverb, but it's basically nothing. <coughs> nothing really there. It's just adding a bit in the room, because otherwise it just sounds dry and unfun. Um, unfun. Un it is very unfun. But I was really happy with the clean tone I got. On, so on the neck pick up on this ESP, uh, sorry, ESP, LTD EC256, but it's, uh, what is it, designed by ESP? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I thought it sounded really good. Like, uh, it's got that kind of I'm really happy with that clean tone. It's got that kind of sparkly James tone. Mm. 
So I'm really happy with that. I know he used um, the Roland uh, Jazz Chorus for his clean tone. And that's really why I went for a Fender, like just getting as, as much kind of clean headroom as is humanly possible. And then basically kick on the distortion over the top. And I'm really happy with that. The distortion, uh, I'm kind of semi-happy with. It's pretty, it's pretty good, but it's kind of... Uh... It's kind of got that percussive thing, but it, and it's heavy, it's very heavy, but it's, um, I don't know, it's quite nice. I've got the, the distortion rolled back a fair bit. The distortion on the pedal is actually at about two o'clock. So all the way up is just too much. It just you know, flubs out. But um, I don't know, I'm pretty happy. You know, 80% on the distortion, 100% on the clean. I would, I, I would give it a, uh, maybe a, Three out of ten. No, um, <laughs> but no, I have, it's it's cool. I like it's quite nice. It's got yeah. it's got that kind of thing, you know. It does it? I forgot not to play battery, but you know, uh, I don't know, it pro I quite like it. And again, I like it. on its own, it's quite harsh. And in the room, it's quite, I'm going to assault you. Um, but when you mix it in with the bass, it kind of calms it down. Yeah. And it just kind of smooths out. Yeah. Which they is both nice. complement each other really well. And they fill yeah. the gaps that the other one leaves. Mm. So, because on the own, the bass is really dark. Yeah. And it's quite muddy. It's a cool sound, but. Together with the guitar, it just kind of makes it. Yeah, this is a great guitar as well. Yeah, this is a great bass. I mm. really like it. Very, very nice. So, you did a Cliff Burton solo. I did indeed. I did, of course, Anesthesia. <laughs> So that's cool. So that's basically, are you happy? Is there anything else you would add apart from like obviously bigger amps? Because that's the number one thing with these videos that we, we kind of struggle with is because a lot of these guys are using big, either 412s or 410s. We've only got one speaker. And also like, you know, you, you've got to think when these guys are recording, like you've got this going through desks and they're EQing stuff in and out. Uh, there's compression and all sorts of stuff. It, you know, we can only approximate. Yeah. But is there anything you would, change in and out of that. Not really. You're quite happy. Uh, in fact, I even took the compressor sustainer out, which Cliff Indeed. does use, but in this setup, it just didn't need it. It's mm. loud enough on its own and it's kind of even enough on its own. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy mm. with this setup. I wouldn't change anything that yeah. I can think of. The only thing I think I would do is I would like have this, I'd, I'd, I'd maybe go for two amps like James does and like have this amp designated as clean with the chorus yeah. on all the time and have an AB switcher and then go over to an amp that does distortion is a bit tighter because that that's the one thing it's not it's pretty tight that sound but it's not uh it's just a little bit it overhangs I know exactly it's what you're not mean. quite there it's yeah. just a little bit saggy and it's not like James's tone is so like I say, I'm not, I'm not the happiest with that one, but maybe we'll return to it one day with James Hetfield. Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching. Yeah, uh, oh, we have no prices. <laughs> All right. Oh. I'm off anyway. See ya. <laughs> The Fender amp is 219, the LTD is 450. Uh, I kind of splurged a bit on the guitar. The, I did get the Epiphone Les Paul as well, but I didn't even plug it in because I plugged this in and was like, 
There you go. Um, so the Angel Wing is 50 quid and the <laughs> Ultra Metal is 20 quid. I love these Behringer pedal prices. I think I they're do. fantastic. And that's it. So mine total came for seven seven forty, and uh, like I say, uh, I would change out the pedal and shove an amp in there, and maybe get an ABY switch instead. Yeah. But I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. They complement each other. Yeah, yeah, they work. They work. Yeah. Nothing gets in the way of each other. Life. So prices. Yes, price wise, uh, the Matcha Cream is forty five pounds. The Morley was one oh nine. The green tube at the moment is £29, but should usually be 60 So depending on how quickly you get there, <laughs> depends on the <your laughs> price. Uh, the SR300E is 275 and the Fender Rumble is 255 So all in all, that comes to 717 if my maths is correct. I would believe so. Cool. All good? Happy days. I'm happy. I was trying to find a picture of James Hetfield to uh, show, <laughs> but my phone decided it was like, no. So that, that ruined that one, so thanks very much. <laughs> he knew. I'm going. See ya. Mm. Sad piano Sound music. Sad piano here. music, Hulk music. <laughs> anyway, yes. Thank you very much for watching, and see please like and subscribe, time. and see you again. Goodbye. Ha!